So, Or, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, the big question is, uh, what do you do at Adverify? All right. Um, so, we know that fake news is becoming a bigger and bigger problem. And what we're doing is we're trying to help fact checkers become more effective at detecting the fakes. And we're using technology for that. So there's different things that technology can do. We know that technology is still not at the state that it can fully find fake news and uh, get rid of the human factor. But we're trying to do things that help the fact checkers become more effective. Stuff like uh, reverse image search, so if you see an item, and that was manipulated. Usually one of the most common techniques for fact checkers is to uh, find previous versions of that and see that it was already posted and uh, make the comparison and see that it was manipulated. So stuff like that that helped the fact checkers become more effective by automating the work. In my opinion, I think uh, your software is going to help a lot, uh, especially, not especially, all the countries. Because I think we're facing the same problem. Um, there were some talks a few years, uh, years ago in the US about elections, about the influence of social media and uh, fake posts, fake, fake articles fake, that were, that were be, being promoted uh, to, to shift the people's mind to someone else. Uh, the same thing is happening in Europe in a lot of countries. Are, is your software involved right now in helping uh, the governments um, remove those those fake articles and to yeah so you touch on two interesting things so first of all there is a big challenge in applying the technology to different countries because this is different languages and you need to have a model that uh, is able to uh, deal with these la language differences uh, so currently we're only supporting English which allows us to operate in the US in uh, the UK in India uh, and uh, we are all the time uh, adding more languages. So we are also supporting, starting to support Russian, French, Spanish. And with regard to helping the uh, governments to detect the fake, so one of the projects we've been working together with the EU versus this info campaign. So this is a, a task force by the European Union that tries to um, detect uh, fakes and rumors around the, especially around the Eastern Europe and with that we're trying also to help the fact checkers become more effective by first uh, monitoring monitoring social media to find what are these problematic topics and problematic stories that are trending and secondly identify which one of them are really problematic and which one are less aspects. We have a method that we call fake rank that gets an item and gives you a score uh, which basically tells you how much we think this is likely to be fake. Do you think one piece of software is going to uh, beat 30,000, supposedly, allegedly, 30,000 Russians that are putting out fake information? So I think the, the question could be, do we think that humans are able to, to keep up with this amount of uh, work? So probably not. And the, that's the reason we need to rely on technology to some degree. Again, what we're trying to do is not to replace the humans, but to help them be more effective. So technology would not be the judge, but technology will help them to find the f stuff that is problematic faster and also give them some insights. Then once they start to research into something, they don't need to do that from scratch. They already have some background. They can see what uh, authoritative sources tell about this topic. They can see if this is something that was uh, debunked before by other fact checkers which is really useful because there's a lot of recycled materials. And this is the idea in general, to help them become more effective in this, and there's probably no other way to keep up with that amount of work. Uh, do you think you're going to be able to do that in video and audio as well? Because in photos, let's say it's a little bit easier. In video, it has like 24 frames per second. You have 24 pictures. And in audio, I saw some improve improvements right now with Google being able to search through a podcast for a special, I don't know, an idea or something. Yeah. So uh, what we are uh, specializing in is uh, text, actually. So identifying uh, stories that are fake based on uh, uh, keywords, based on uh, natural language processing, looking into the sentiment of the story. Um, so basically analyzing big data, right? That's also uh, a part of what we're doing. Um, 
specifically we're doing uh, machine learning where we're using uh, natural language processing for features. So we take stuff like sentiment, stuff that uh, looks into um, whether the story tries to convey a message or it tries to give you the facts and decide for yourself. And all these different features, we train a model that is given examples that are fake and examples that are real, and then it tries to learn what are these patterns that are specific to the fake examples. Can you tell me a few companies that you've worked with? With uh, So, is that a secret? Come again? Can you tell me a few companies that you have worked with? So, we're working with one of the largest advertisers in India. Uh, it's a network that has uh, millions of uh, followers one, and what, they're one of the largest advertisers. Uh, we're working with uh, one of the two largest uh, news agencies in the world to get feedback about the product and continue to uh, uh, innovate. We're working with a very big advertising agency in France. So these are our typical customers, advertisers, advertising agencies, uh, uh, news agencies. Uh, um, and How about countries, governments? So like I mentioned, with countries there's the challenge of the language. So uh, for now we are working in the US, UK and India. And with the uh, government, like I mentioned, we are working with the EU versus uh, this info campaign. Um, that's pretty much it. I, I don't know what to ask you anymore. So we talked about uh, challenges in uh, identifying uh, fakes. Um, I think what is really helpful for actually finding these uh, problematic examples, it, th there is some pattern there, and we know that intuitively. If you look at a fake story and a real story, there is some patterns there. There's specific keywords that if you tell me that they're in a story, I can tell you with high chances, that, like uh, if the story talks about a uh, tramp or uh, false flags or whatever, the specific keywords that really raise the chances that this story is uh, fake or problematic. Um, something also that not many people know is that in this uh, business of generating fakes, most of the guys that are doing that are not politically motivated. So we, you talked about uh, before... They're mostly motivated about money, right? Exactly. So these are just people that realize this can be a business. You put a website, put some sensational stories, you don't need to spend a lot of that. And you attract traffic. You, this goes viral. These are exactly the topics that people like to share and uh, uh, discuss. And uh, then they monitor with advertising. And what part of what we're doing is working with advertisers, advertising agencies to prevent the ads from being placed on these sites. And hopefully this will get these guys to give up this business and maybe move to something else. Um, I think one of the, the, the challenges you will have, and tell me if I'm wrong, is um, in blockchain technology, in, especially in IPOs, um, everybody can launch an IPO, can pay a few influencers to talk about their, I don't know, crypto coin, raise awareness, raise the price, and then sell everything. Have you had a challenge to work with uh, the blockchain technology? with crypto, with some, I don't know, some entity that wanted to prevent IPOs, fake IPOs to being born, be, from being born? Yeah, so some of the methods that try to, uh, there, there's a few methods that try to handle uh, fake news and one of them is related to uh, cryptos. And uh, especially, I think the challenge there is that it's more like an um, all or nothing game. So you need either everyone to support the same standard and uh, implement this technology and then all the stories can be verified. Or if uh, there's just 10% of the people are not using that, then what do you do with that? And it becomes maybe useless. So that, that's a bit of a, um, a all or nothing solution. Um, what we are trying to do is uh, focus more on the content itself trying to see um, based on uh, the patterns that we uh, identify whether this is something that is more likely to be fake or not based on the content, based on the source, the reputation of the source. Um, and I think that's uh, the more uh, sustainable way to go around that. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. I'm going to switch short to Romania to uh, uh, throw a con conclusion. Yeah. Um,
practic, ce face Orlevi la, la compania Adverify AI este se ocupă de un software care ajută orice companie să identifice conținutul fals, adică știrile false. Și funcționează pe partea de marketing, dar eu aș vrea să văd că funcționează și pe partea de blockchain și pe multe alte domenii care sunt poate mai periculoase, cum ar fi, de exemplu, politica. Uh, urmăriți-ne în continuare pe cavaleria.ro, revenim cu alți invitați interesanți, speciali. Mulțumim!